My name's Paul Spiram. My traditional name is Winningali G. Winningali G in my language means to teach, to learn from the heart. I come from the Gamilaroi nation of, of southern Queensland and northern New South Wales. What we're doing here at the Henderson Gallery is I've got a, an exhibition on it at the moment of my artwork and I'm also conducting on the weekends traditional workshops where people can come in and, and learn how to make a didgeridoo, coulomans, do weavings, make clapsticks. So anybody is um, more than welcome to come along and, and take part in these workshops. One of the first things when you, when you are making things or doing something with wood or something that comes from the land, we have to show a respect and understanding to that tree, to that water, to that ground where we come from. And a lot of the woods that we use here in Brisbane, we get all the woods and all our material back from our country because we don't want to take anything from other nations' land or their country because then we're taking something from them. We're taking a part of them. So we take everything that we need to make artifacts, to do weaving, to do songs, dance, stories and knowledge from our country alone. You know, and that's our connection back to Gamilaray or Gamilaray culture and consciousness and our belief systems. And as I said before, one of the things that we do is we make sure we understand our connection back to Gamilaray through our conscious understanding of who we are first and foremost. Because it begins with you, firstly as an individual person. Then it goes from you as an individual person to being a part of a family. Then it goes from being a part of a family to a part of a clan. And from there it goes to a part of a nation. So there's you as that individual person, you as that member of a family, you as that member of a clan, and you as a member of that nation. Because for you to understand yourself, to love and respect yourself, you have to understand that first and foremost. Then you can love, respect and understand your family members, your clan members, and also members of your nation. So it's very important that you understand who you are first and foremost. And by learning about our cultural understanding, or our Gamalu Bidawi, our law, it teaches us our connection to, these, to this wood, you know, to you know, a piece of stick. You know, where it comes from, why we use the stick, why do we, you know, use the water, why do we use anything from our country, because it's our connection back to who we are, first and foremost. Because every single person in this universe has got a cultural or uh, a belief system where they think or they understand that they believe in something that gives them creationism, if you want to use that word. I prefer to use the word Gamalu Bidibi or Diriya Gamal, our law and our creation, or Burugu, because that teaches me I have a conscious connection to something that is almighty, that is powerful, and that has created us as Gamilaray people. So we have to have that understanding from day one until the day we have gone back to Burugu or back to creation because it's about our understanding again, as I said before, of who we are first and foremost. The didgeridoo does not belong to Gamilaray people. The didgeridoo comes from the top of Queensland Territory and other part, part, parts of Australia. Gamilaray people were known as woodcarvers. And, you know, back in creation time, we traded our wood carvings for the use of the didgeridoo. And that was traded in good faith as the first diplomats we understood uh, the concept of respect for other nations. So we traded our wood carvings for the permission to use the didgeridoo and we, we accept and use it, but not in our traditional song dances or ceremonies. We use it as uh, uh, a get together thing because it does not belong to us. And the way you make a didgeridoo there now is the white ants do all the work. So the white ants, they clear out the tree from the bottom, from the roots, right up to through the branches. So they, they're doing all the hard work. So the white ants do all the hard work. So if that's your tree, you know, we come along and tap the tree. Oh yeah, that's hollow. Then we cut it down, you know. And then we, as we turn it over, we can see where the white ants have cleared out all the inside of the didgeridoo. So they've done all the hard work on the didgeridoo itself. And all we do is just clean it back, 
make it nice and smooth and some of the tools that we used some people wonder how we used to clean a lot of our, our, our or the skin or the bark off the trees we would use mussel shells to do that so that will make sure that we cleared it back and made it nice and smooth but as I said before all the hard work is done by the white ants you know and that's the same as when we make kulamons or bingawi in my language so there's your tree the white ants have done all the work we come along clean it out and that's what they'll look like after you've cleaned it out so with your bingawi we carry our babies carry food you can also boil water in there depending on how thick the outside bark is so you'd put that on your fire put your water in there eat it up and you've got hot water but what we do in Gamilaray is we maili maili in my language means to whisper so we'd whisper to that tree you know we go maili na maili ji so I'm asking that tree for permission to use it I'm not going to take 20 30 trees I'll only take one tree or two trees that's what's going to make me something that I can use for my family survival whether I'm making a spear uh, a boomerang uh, a digging stick I would only take a few things so that that would ensure that my family got enough food water everything else that I need as I said before for Gamilaray people we have a conscious understanding of who we are as an individual person as a member of a family a clan and a nation up here we've got two paintings this one here is about Orion's Belt. Now Orion's Belt is about men's initiation ceremonies, about how we transition from one level of understanding to another. So this painting of Orion's Belt here, this is from April to September, outside of ceremony time. The one up the top here, this is from September through to April and this painting represents the burr or the belt that Gamilaray people wore in those initiation ceremonies that's from September through to April Orion's belt this is from April through to September Orion's belt up the top we have the seven sisters and the seven sisters is the Pleiades constellation and that's about Mie Mie or the Pleiades constellation and how our women are connected to that conscious understanding of who they are we've got other paintings here that represent Venus, Jupiter, Mars and our connection to them through ceremony and our conscious understanding of what they mean to Gamilaray people up the top here we've got another painting that represents Orion's belt again and it's the seven phases of Gilay the moon and now Gilay the moon is connected to a lot of the men and women of Gamilaray people the, the figure, the brown figure in the middle represents Gurria the crocodile so in ceremony time the men would make a replica of the crocodile and they would ride on top of that crocodile depicting the crocodile and now the crocodile helped to create parts of Gamilaray country or our sacred lands so all of our paintings and, and conscious understanding who we are can be told for our songs, our dances our, our stories and our knowledge of who we are as Gamilaray people because first and foremost we are Gamilaray and Gamilaray or people in our language means or person in my language means Murray M-A-R-I Murray so that means person in, in Gamilaray so it's our understanding of who we are as Gamilaray people because as I keep going back to the point it's you first it begins with you then your family then your clan and then your nation because for you to have respect and understanding for other people you have to firstly understand yourself thank you
the, the deal I'm dance for, for you guys and this particular dance, it's uh, not just a dance, it's a story and, it, and it's about the beautiful uh, Inuan uh, from down home in the Millerae country which, which is northern in New South Wales. Uh, I'll, I'll let, I'll let the, the lads here tell the story um, but, it, but it ties in with William's law and also about how the men, uh, once the emu comes off the nest, uh, the, the men comes in and incubates those eggs. So it's a strong message out there, in particular for our men and our brothers and that to look after our family and our young ones. So hope you enjoy it. You know what I'm 